moments take some form of stance in our faith and in our prayer, we will be swept along and end up on the floor. So the great thing is to recognise what's going on and then start to realise <coughs> that God is giving you, an uh, 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 giving you um, a chance to grow here, to stand more closely to him rather than being taken over from the world. And when you failed several times and got through that one and realised this, how weak our faith is, how weak our prayer is, or whatever, whatever, how weak our discipline is, then, but we, provided we see the importance of this, that we must stand and develop the capacity to say no. And once you have learned, say you're a very anxious person. We're all pretty anxious when it comes to the point. Uh, anxious, uh, anxious, anxious this morning, anxious this afternoon, maybe next week, and so on. You're given plenty of opportunities to see that anxiety is about to take you over, and that is the critical moment in to learn to stand and pray and cleave to Christ. And when you have picked yourself up off the floor by failing several times, you'll start to realize that the Lord is watching you and sees your earnest desire not to be swallowed up by the world, but to say no. He will come to assist you with his grace and strengthen you at these points. And this is how a Christian grows. There is no other way. It's in the action, in the reality of the action. Yes, you may be a child by, of God by faith, by sacrament and so on, but what we all want to be is a Christ, a, a child of God in reality. It's possible. It's possible. People don't tell us they're possible. possible. They give all sorts of, say all sorts of things about <coughs> religion and all sorts of things. This change within our soul is possible. It's important to believe that and to hope on that and to practice that. Because once you've started to realise that you overcome one thing, say, for example, anxiety, which is very difficult, but it can be done, then the Lord will show you another thing in which you can learn to repent of. Perhaps your anger, perhaps your misery, it could be anything. But the point is that a Christian can grow, and he can grow into the fullness of the measure of Christ by learning to stand at these critical moments in his daily life. <laughs> Now, I bet my life on this being true, and I tell you that, and I, uh, well, we are going to burn down that one, but the point is, for myself, as a teacher who is responsible for telling you about the gospel, then if I can persuade you the importance of this learning to say no, I know it would make a great deal of difference in your life. And I know that if you practice it, if the Lord shows it, uh, uh, us through, through all our thoughts and feelings, the Lord will go through them all, then we shall, the measure in which we can grow is infinite. We're not told this so often, but it is true. So this is where, in our Christian life, I know it's very, di very difficult to keep faith and hope going, let alone love. But this is the critical moment because in those moments we are learning how to die to ourself, to the energy of the self which is trying to take us over. And as we learn to stand in Christ, believe me, the energy in our anxieties, in our fears, in our miseries, in our angers, whatever it is, then the energy can be weakened in us and the energy of Christ and the Holy Spirit in us will grow. And that's an amazing gospel. I know it's, may, uh, know it's maybe not easy to grasp, but try and grasp it. And the whole point is, say for example in coming to confession, is to learn this process and to, res and to discover it is something that is liberating. Coming to confession is not something, oh, terrible, trying to work the, trying to uh, merely uh, uh, keep the slate clean or clean the slate free. Uh, uh, it, it is about learning at the points in which God wants you to grow in your life. And you will need help. Generally, everybody needs help in this. But you can do it. You can grow. And you can grow into the measure of a child of God in Christ. 
Yippee, I say. Yippee, go for it. <laughs>